Now to the big story. Police continue to search for a third person in a Lexington home invasion. As for the man who answered the door, he says he's just happy to be alive. LEX 18's Catherine Gardner has the story. I was there with my head, and that guy was standing there with that gun right there. So I was like, I'm, 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 I pray to God if I do what they tell me to, that they, they, they won't shoot me. That's all I that's all I prayed for. That's Leon Cummins describing what took place at his cousin's home on Arbor Station Way around 3.30 Tuesday afternoon. Cummins says a young black man rang the doorbell and when Cummins answered the door. He asked for a house member here if he was at home and I just cracked the door to tell him that he was at the shop and that's when he and two other black males busted in with guns drawn. Cummins says they held him in the living room as they ransacked the house, taking all the money and jewelry they could find. Cummins says he was paralyzed with fear. I figured they were going to get what they wanted and shoot me or get mad because we didn't have what they wanted and shoot me. But Cummins says once they had what they wanted, they took off toward Woodhill Drive. Two of the three were eventually caught by Lexington police, 19-year-old Dequee Sharp and 20-year-old Stefan Fisher, leaving one still at large. Although Cummins' cousin wasn't at home, the homeowner, Arlene Hill, says she's in shock from what happened. I feel really upset about it because I worked too hard for somebody else's children to come in here and rob me. And I feel like everybody needs to have a gun in their home to stop things like this. I, pray, I thank God that they didn't hurt Leon or hurt my son if he had been here. Covering the news in Lexington, Katherine Gardner, LEX 18 News.